Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, we will talk about subtracting decimals. So to subtract decimals, we will follow these three simple steps. First step, line decimals up. Second step, place holder zeros. And third step, subtract the decimals. Okay? So let's start first with our first example. 32.7 minus 6.7. 63. So, for our first step, we need to line up our decimal. So, we have 32.7 minus 6.63. Okay? So, in, line, in lining up decimals, guys, make sure na yung kanilang decimal point ay magkatapat. Okay? So, ang common mistake niyan is tabing yung pagla-line up. For example, 32.7 minus 6.63. So, pagka ganito yung ginawa, uh, mali itong process na to. So, make, so meaning, uh, mali yung sagot na ibibigay niya sa inyo. Nakuha ba? So, again, uh, in lining up decimals, make sure na pantay yung ating decimal point. Alright, so let's move to our second step. Place holder zeros. So, kung makapansin nyo, si 3 walang katapat na number. So, mag-a-add tayo dyan ng 0. Okay? Para makumpleto yung ating um, number sa taas. So, pagka nag a naman tayo ng 0, hindi naman nagbabago yung value ng ating decimals. Okay? So, we have 32.70 minus 6.63. Then, for our last step, subtract. So in subtracting decimals, ang first uh, ang first natin sinusubtract is yung nasa rightmost. Okay? So start tayo, we have 0 minus 3, so cannot be tayo diyan. So we need to borrow 1 dito sa ating 7, so 7 becomes 6. Then yung 0 natin magiging 10. Tama? So, we have 10 minus 3, that is 7. Then, dito naman sa may second uh, column natin, we have 6 minus 6 equals 0. And then, place the decimal point. Next, we have 2 minus 6. So, again, uh, cannot be yan. So, we need to borrow 1 dito kay 3. 3 becomes 2. Then, yung 2 natin magiging 12. Tama? So, 12 minus 6, that is 6. Then, just bring out, uh, bring down positive 2. So, for our final answer, we have 26.07. Nakuha ba? So, next, second example, we have 123.09 minus 12.253. So, again, ang first step natin is to line decimals up. So, that is 123.09 minus 12.253. Okay? So, again, in lining up decimals, uh, make sure na yung ka ating decimal point ay magkapantay. And next, for our uh, second step, place uh, holder 0. So, yung dito, walang katapat yung 3 natin. So, mag-add lang tayo ng 0. Okay? Then, for our last step, subtract. So, try na natin mag-subtract ng decimals starting at the rightmost. Okay? So, 0 minus 3, that cannot be. So, we need to borrow 1 dito kay 9. So, 9 becomes 8. So, meron tayong 10. 10 minus 3 equals 7. Next, 8 minus 5 equals 3 next 0 minus 2 so uh, cannot be n so we need to borrow 1 dito kay 3 3 becomes 2 then si 0 natin magiging 10 ok then 10 minus 2 that is 8 next we need to place the decimal point ok so nakatapat na tayo dyan. next we have 2 minus 2, that is 0. 2 minus 1 equals 1. 
and then just bring bring down positive 1. Okay, so for our final answer, we have 110.837. So let's proceed now to our third example. 232.5 minus 86.001. So lining up the decimals, we have 232.5. Minus 86 point. So again, make sure na tapat yung ating decimals. 0 0.001. Okay, then after that, place the holder 0. So we have 0, 0. And then subtract. So here sa rightmost natin, we have 0 minus 1. Again, cannot be yan. So wala tayong may heraman since ang katabi niya ay 0. So, pupunta tayo kay 5. Okay? So, dito we have uh, 5 becomes 4. Then, ito naman, 10 becomes 9. Then, yung ating last 0 magiging 10. Tama? So, 10 minus 1, that is positive 9 or 9. Followed by 9 minus 0, so 9. 4 minus 0, that is 4. And then, place the decimal point. Next, we have 2 minus 6. So, cannot be. We need to borrow 1 dito kay 3. 3 becomes 2. Then, meron tayo ngayong 12. Okay? And then, 12 minus 6. That is 6. Then, 2 minus 8. Cannot be. So, we need to borrow 1 dito kay 2. Then, 2 becomes 12. Tama? Then, 12 minus 8. That is 4. Then, just bring down positive 1. Then, for our final answer, we have 146.499. Nakuha ba? So, next for our uh, last example, we have 113.003. Minus 27.1 Okay? And then, place holder 0. So, we have two zeros dito sa may baba. And now, subtract. 3 minus 0, that is 3. 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus 1 cannot be. So, we need to borrow 1 dito kay 3. 3 becomes 2, so we have 10 minus 1, that is 9. And then place the decimal point. Next, we have 2 minus 7, cannot be. So we need to borrow 1 dito kay 1. 1 becomes 0, then si 2 becomes 12. Tama? So 12 minus 7, that is 5. And then dito we have 0. So 0 minus 2 cannot be. We need to borrow 1 dito kay 1. So 1 becomes 0. And then we have 10 minus 2. Tama? So 10 minus 2, that is 8. So since 0 yung ating uh, last digit, so hindi na natin ibibring down yan. So for our final answer, we have 85.903. Okay, nakuha ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, you learn how to subtract decimals. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them on the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!